Hi, we will now have a look at the new smoke alarm from Bellman and Symphon, the BE1481. It is a smoke alarm that carries up to 10 years of battery lifetime. And as you can see, it also has quite a big test button, meaning that you can silence an unwanted false alarm with, for instance, the shaft of a broom instead of standing on a chair. In order to change radio key on this one, uh, you need to work in a slightly different way since it doesn't carry any dip switches like the rest of the transmitters do. In this case, I have a quite small system uh, with a push button transmitter, our smoke alarm and an alarm clock. These are now paired. And in case I have a neighbor or something that has a visit system and I need to change my radio key, I do as I do in a traditional way with all the transmitters. I change the setting of the dip switches into a new radio key. I choose, I choose a radio key that is appropriate. And I now need to do the very same thing, of course, on all other transmitters in my system. And now it's time to make the change on the smoke alarm itself. In order to do so, we do it in three steps. We remove the battery. We place the smoke alarm into a listening mode. We then activate any of the other transmitters and we confirm the choice with the smoke alarm itself. So let's do that. We turn it around and we remove one of the batteries. From now, I wait for 30 seconds or I can just press down the test button to make it a bit quicker. I listen for a tick sound. That says that the smoke alarm has now been discharged and is ready for a new pairing. Now, I hold down the test button and at the same time, I put back the battery and I wait for the smoke alarm LED to start blinking slowly. Now it starts to blink, I release it. And now I can see a quick blinking. Now it's ready and listening to all the other transmitters. I push any of the other transmitters and now it has listened and I confirm by pressing the test button once again. It has now been set to the very same radio key as all the other transmitters. In order to pair the entire system, I do as I always do, put it into pairing mode and I push any of the transmitter and the system is now paired. Let's try it out with the push button transmitter to start with. The door LED lights up and we test it with the smoke alarm and the fire LED lights up. Maybe you notice that the smoke alarm didn't make any sound at this point. I'll turn this around and that's because the smoke alarm has three levels of testing. Just testing the button in a very short period makes it blink and that actually sends a signal. If I hold down the test button a little bit longer, an audio chime will be heard. And if I press it down even longer, the full warning alarm will sound. The system has now been paired. In case you have a very small system containing of smoke alarms only and a number of receivers, we still need to be able to change radio key even though it doesn't carry any dip switches. And we also don't have any other transmitters around with dip switches. In order to change radio key then, we need to uh, take out the batteries, reinsert the batteries and go into a change radio key mode. From that mode, we toggle from radio key 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to radio key number 9. And after that, it will reset back to 0. So let's try that out. We remove a battery and we wait for 30 seconds or discharge manually by holding down the test button. 
the click sound indicates that it's ready to receive a new radio key. I keep on holding down the test button and at the same time I install the battery. Now I will wait for it to go to a slow blinking, keep holding down until it starts to blink in a quick succession. Slow blink, now it's blinking fast, I release zero. Radio key one, radio key two, and let's say three. I'm satisfied. I just release it and wait. And now it's set to radio key number three. In order to pair it with my receivers, I do as I always do, put it into pairing mode. Push the test button. And the system is paired. We will now try and see if it works. Hold down the test button and the smoke alarm LED lights up. The system is paired. In case you don't want to work with radio keys at all, or maybe you wish that your smoke alarm should sound on each and every receiver within range, regardless of visit system, you can use the broadcast function. Before you activate broadcast, we suggest that you use some kind of hearing protection since the sound is quite loud. You activate it by pressing three times on the test button and you deactivate broadcast in the very same way. Broadcast is now activated Broadcast is now deactivated.